In this short tutorial, we're going to be looking at Pedigree Publisher and uh, selecting Field Orders. So that's the order in which you see fields. And uh, later on in this tutorial, we'll go through how you can create, modify and delete existing fields. So first off, to change the field order, click on the field order button on the toolbar. So we have a dialog appear. So all we have is the standard normal field order. So the first thing we'll do is create a new one. And to simplify things, I'm just going to call it sample one. So below here we have all of the fields. So the topmost field appears here on the left and the bottom field is on the right of the grid. So what we can do with these fields is select them. You can select them individually or you can select a range. So click the first one, then hold the shift key down and select the second one. Now the sort of things we can do here is to move them up or down or hide them. So in this case we'll just hide them. And in fact to demonstrate things we will hide a whole bunch of fields. You can still see them here in the list of fields. They're just shown in grey. So if you wanted to show a field that you've already hidden, you can just select it and click show and it appears at the end of the, the list of visible fields. So the darker colored fields up the top are the ones that will be visible. These lighter colored fields will not appear in the grid view. So that's hiding. The other thing we can do is to move them. So let's say that we want to move the comment field right up on the left. So we'll select it and click move up. So we'll have it appear just before the pre-title and the post-title and we'll click OK. Now nothing has changed here because while we have created a field order, we haven't selected it. So this is for editing or creating field orders and this is for changing field orders. So we'll select sample one. And now you can see the comment field appears to the left of pre-title and post-title. And if we scroll along we can see there's a whole bunch of fields missing here. Now you can change field orders at any time so I can go back to normal and we have all of our fields back again. Let's go through that one more time. We'll create a third field order. Again click new Cause one sample two, so I don't get confused. And I'm going to hide a lot of fields this time. So we're not seeing many fields in this case. And just to demonstrate moving, we'll take these two and move them right next to the name. Click OK and select sample 2 and there we go name owner breeder so we've demonstrated how to create field orders and how to select them now the second thing we're going to be showing is creating fields or deleting them or renaming them or changing the type of the data stored in the field. 
And the way to do that is with the tools alter table command. So this dialog can be resized so we can see a bit more. You can scroll down, you can see all of the fields here regardless of the field order. So in the first column we've got the name, the type of the field. I'll just click on the list here. We've got strings, integers, bigger integers, floating point numbers, dates and high precision floating point numbers. You've got a format, so this is particularly handy with dates. Uh, so you can select from a list. If you select auto, then it will use the field, the uh, the date order on your computer. So this one here is obviously uh, month, day, year, as you would use in the US, and. So at the moment it's just day, month, year. You've got the field width, uh, the four color and the back color. Foreign tables is what that field is linked to. So in the case of size and dams, it's actually linked back to the pedigree table. For pre-title and post-title, we link to a separate table for each one. This is a list of pre-titles kept in this table. Uh, it will always link to the first field in that table. So we're only selecting the foreign table. We're not selecting a field within that table. As I said, it's always the first field. XML ID, that is used for OPSG XML import and export. That's also on the tools uh, menu. And the final column is the primary key. So for a table to work properly, you need to have a primary key and it is usually the, the first field. This means that your data will be ordered by that field. So just going back briefly to the pre-title and we can see how it's linked to the underscore pre-title table. I might just quickly exit here and we'll have a look at the list of tables. So these are the regular tables. The tables down here beginning with an underscore are what we call lookup tables. So if we look at pre-title if we uh, so click in a pre-title field, um, so this is where we do our editing. If we look at a list, so we then have a list of all these pre-titles. So I could select that, hit enter, and and there we have it. Just by the way, with editing, you can select a field, type something, and hit enter. Now what it's done here is it's recognized that this title is not in the linked pre underscore pre-title table. So it's prompting the user here, do I want to create a record for that in the underscore pre-title table? I'm going to say yes just to demonstrate it. So then when I click here and go to a list, we can see that the title that we've just added appears in the list. If I right click here, I can view lookup. So what it's going to do now is jump to the underscore pre-titles table. And here is our list of pre-titles. I'll just open that up. I can see that it's ticked the pre-title. I can always go back to pedigree and I can go back to pre-title. So if I've accidentally entered a title, I don't want that to appear, I can just select that row and hit F7. I'll just use the menu instead and it's gone. So going back to pedigree, we can now see that 
that title that we created earlier is underlined. See this uh, red wavy line. So that means that that does not appear in the linked table. I can always click on that and hit enter and it will add it for me if I say yes, but I'm going to say no. I'm just going to delete that. Just for the record, uh, you don't always have to click in a field, type something and hit enter. If there is a field that you just want to copy, let's say we, for this record here, we want to add that title. I can just click on it, drag and drop, and there it is. I'll just delete that. So we've demonstrated here how particular fields are linked to foreign tables, as we call them. So that was just explaining what all of these different fields in the alter tables dialog do. So now we're going to add another field. So we can select anywhere here. I'm going to select hip score and insert a field. I'm just going to double click here and call it coat pattern. And it uh, by default it comes up as a string, so that should be okay. And just for interest, I might change the back color of that cell. Um, generally, you pick lighter colors for back colors and darker colors for four colors. I might just pick green there, make it a bit more visible, and we'll click OK. So once you've made all your changes, you can make multiple changes. Uh, you can delete a field. Um, you can just double click in it to rename it. I can now put something else in there. I probably don't want to do that. It's worth mentioning that the forms that display data are linked to the database based on the name. So you've got to be very careful not to change certain field names. Ones that you definitely should not change are these first eight and often these other ones owner breeder and so forth are also used in forms so that probably wouldn't be a good idea either so going back to the field that we've added that's coat pattern and we've set a background color if we wanted to have a drop down list of coat patterns we would create a foreign table but for the moment we're not going to do that and I will click alter table and we can now see that coat pattern has appeared. Now in some cases if you've hidden a lot of fields the coat pattern won't appear in which case you can always just go to the field order and um, add it to the uh, visible list of fields. So those are the two things we've demonstrated, how to change the field order using the field order button. Clicking on here allows us to uh, edit or create field orders and to delete them. And if we want to quickly change between field orders, we click on the drop down button and select it from here. The second thing we showed was tools, alter table to add actual fields and to insert them at any position, uh, to rename fields, to change the data type of a field and to change colors, foreground and background color to link it to another table. You can also create a table and that's very similar very similar to the alter table except you have to then give it a name. So we've covered those two major issues and that concludes this tutorial.